gentlemen, today I am bringing it strong to you, but first we gotta get something out of the way. Pixel, that's what I'm talking about. I'm tossing you seven tricks that I have learned over the years of taking pics, being in pics, or just seeing really bad pics online. And I'm gonna share with you these tricks in order to help you look better in every single picture. It all starts with number one, which is find the lens. One of the biggest reasons why we look horrible in pictures is that we're not looking in the right places when we are taking pictures. Now, if it's your phone and you don't know where the camera is, gentlemen, I want you to stop drop one of these and then open up your camera and find the lens with your finger, right? When your finger looks all big and fat, you found it right there. I want you looking right there at the camera when you are taking selfies. But here's the thing, everything's fine when it's your camera, but what about when it's somebody else's? Before the picture is taken, always ask them, hey, where are we looking? So when you're taking a selfie, you always wanna make sure you are looking at the lens, all right? This is going to be the most natural and make you look the best. But here's the thing, when you're taking a picture of yourself in a mirror, what I want you to do is focus and find the camera lens. That is what you should be looking at, as opposed to your phone. A lot of people, when they take them, right, they look at their phone as opposed to focusing and finding the lens. When you do this, you look a lot better in every picture. Always look at the camera. One of the things that I have learned through doing like thousands of YouTube videos is to focus on the camera as opposed to looking at myself. But here's the thing, I know that it's normal and it's natural to wanna to see what you're doing. Gentlemen, if you wanna look more natural, more normal, more amazing in your picture, always look at the lens. The second trick to look better in picture is know what color not to wear. White is the worst color. Did you see what happened there? Watch this, ready, down, oh, did you see how I brighten up? White, oh, wait a second, again. Yes, exactly. That is the reason. Wearing white totally jacks up the exposure and makes you look washed out because the camera is focusing on that bright white shirt and then either your face is going to be dark or it's going to be super white and washed out. So right now I'm in gray. My face looks nice and bright, but when I put on white, I'm darker. The background, darker. The reason is because the camera is focusing and exposing based on my white shirt. Now, a little trick if you want to wear white is to layer. Ready? Watch this. Right? Exactly. I'm still wearing white, but it's not quite so much. By layering and throwing a color over top of it that's going to be the dominant color, this actually will allow you to wear white and brighten up your face. In my experience, the two best colors are blue. Blue, in my opinion, is the best picture taken color that you can wear. It always makes you look bright. It makes you look fresh. It doesn't matter what skin tone, what hair color. You always look amazing when you're rocking something blue. But black is a close second because it doesn't interfere with the background or your skin tone. The third trick to look better in every pick is show a little bling. You took time and energy accessorizing and accessories are an incredible way to set yourself apart from everybody else in the picture. And so what I want you to do, if you are taking a picture and you're angling your body like you should, I want you making sure that the wrist that you're wearing the watch on is facing the camera. If you're crossing your arms, it's here as opposed to here. Do not hide the accessory. If you're touching your face, right there. Not an accident that all these pictures of these celebrities, right, you can actually see their watch. They're doing it on purpose because gentlemen, you're supposed to show your bling. If you are looking to have a little extra bling without breaking the bank, gentlemen, you gotta hit that link down below and check out today's video sponsor, Movement. Check out this badass watch. It is from the new Field Collection by Movement. It's got the canvas nylon strap. It's got the matte black case, the black face. It's got the little green hands. I just absolutely absolutely love this watch. Here's another one from the Field Collection I love. It's got the tan strap, the black matte case. Guys, the other cool thing about these, under $100 for something this badass and beautiful. The other cool thing, if you go through our link, guys, to our custom landing page where I've gone through and curated a bunch of movement watches that I absolutely love, you're also gonna get a better discount. There's a discount code there, guys, that will make that watch even more affordable. Here's another design that I absolutely love. It's got the brass case, the white chronograph, the gray leather strap. It is just incredible. The other cool thing that I love about movement watches, they all have quick release straps. Did somebody say bling? <laughs> exactly. Another one of their watches that I absolutely love. If you guys aren't afraid to show a little attitude, a little edge, you guys are going to love 
this watch as well. Guys, there's a ton of incredible new designs. Movement is constantly innovating and updating. They're always launching new badass designs that are always affordable but incredibly stylish. Guys, hit that link down below. Go check out Movement. Use the discount code and enjoy my curated collection. And if you guys go and you see like 10 watches that you love but you're like, yo, money's a little tight right now, Alpha, no big deal. They've got a payment plan option now that is incredible. Guys, hit the link, grab a watch to make sure that you're posing are always popping. The fourth trick to look better in pictures is know where to stand. If you're inside, the best place to stand is in front of a window, all right? Natural lighting. What you don't want to do is stand in front of the window when the light is all harsh. You see what happens? It casts a lot of shadows on your face. Same rules apply when you go outside. So when it comes to looking great in pictures, the sun is not your friend. And the reason is because it casts shadows. It also makes you squint and kind of distort your face. But when you're outside and you want to take pictures, guys, you want to make sure you're looking for a shady spot. All right, get in the shade. This is the best place to take pictures to make you look great. The fifth trick to look better in pictures is to elevate the camera and lower the chin. So everybody knows that in order to look great, you want to make sure that you're taking the picture from up here. If you didn't know that, now you do. But one thing that a lot of people don't know is that when you do that, you should also simultaneously drop your chin down slightly. When you elevate the camera and your chin, a few things happen. Number one is people can sometimes see up your nose which is not a good thing the other thing that happens it looks unnatural but by simply dropping your chin down about an inch this is going to make all the difference in the world and you look better number six no picture taking tutorial would be complete without me teaching you once again how to properly smile for a picture now one of the issues that a lot of people have is when they smile their face gets all contorted and weird like right? you're like totally like cheesing it up and your face gets all scrunchy your eyes get all weird but if you want to look more natural and better all you got to do is remember to press your tongue against your teeth right before your picture all I want you to do is press your tongue against the heck of your teeth all right when you do this and focus on pressing your tongue against the back of your teeth it's allowing your facial muscles to actually relax want to see the difference check it out picture on the left my tongue is pressing into those teeth and as you can see my forehead my eyes look a lot more natural and relaxed it works and this is the one trick that will totally up and elevate your picture taken game and last but certainly not least the seventh trick to look better in every picture is have a spicy senorita kiss you on the cheek. This is like scientifically proven. Have a girl kiss you on the cheek. You automatically look better and all your friends are like, damn, Brian, I can't believe you got Janice to give you a kiss on the cheek. Gentlemen, that's it. Seven picture taken rules, tricks, whatever you want to call them. All I know is that if you implement them, you're going to look better in every pick. Soul. Pick soul.